33 percent it's not gonna give me where i want to go Today I'm going to the area of Noryanjan. I think I've been here before last time. This area is also known for really cheap but really delicious food. <gasps> I forgot how cold Korea gets in the winter. It's so cold. You get it? So cold because so I'm in. I may be freezing. The dad jokes never stop. Right, where are we going? We're going to Noryangjin Market today, just the seafood market, but uh -huh. we're also going to the Kopap Kori, which is like what they're famous for, for the cheap Kopap, which is like a rice cup. A rice cup. There's a lot of markets in Seoul, obviously. I've never been to Noryangjin Market before. Oh, this smells so good. I forgot I wanted to come back here because I liked it so much last time. Maybe I was confused or did you feel it too? In that room it suddenly just felt like it was me and you Cause I forgot about your friend, what's his name again? I really can't recall a single thing of what he said to me It was just like waking up from a fever dream If I'm not supposed to think about you like this How beautiful is this fish roll next to the golden runny eggs with kimchi and pork and pork belly. What I remember from last time, you're supposed to kind of mix everything together. Excited. First meal of the day. Huh? Mm. Oh my gosh. You must come try this. One of the cheapest, best things you can get in this whole city. Everything about this is so good. I don't really feel like you need this extra hot sauce, yeah. but we will try it. You dare to do the extra hot sauce? I will take a little bit of the extra hot sauce. I think it's better with the sauce. Yeah. Mm. Extra spicy, but it's so good. Oh, <coughs> oh it burns. <laughs> <laughs> it burns. <laughs> but in a good way. I like it. I like the burn. You know what's so good about this is the cheese. It's so nice. And it's creamy from the eggs and a little popping texture from the fish roll. This is a masterpiece. Just the amount of quality food you get for the price. Absolutely unbeatable. I love the sauce. I want I want more pain. <laughs> she said like this really, really spicy. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> she's scared for me. She was like all the there's gonna be fire blowing up. Fire blowing? Because it's really spicy. It won't be the first time. See, this is what, how we're gonna warm up today. Yes. Love the burn. Mm. Seems like saying, like, oh, you can eat like really hot spicy. <laughs> very, very good. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's a kaya toast. I love kaya toast. Me too. Should we try kaya toast? Nah. Oh, it's not even open. Oh, open. oh my god, all the leaves. Oh, that's so sad. I want a kaya toast so bad. This place is marvelous. Basically, any seafood you can think of is here. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that's the Kraken, isn't it? The Kraken, yeah. Woo. There's people prepping sushi, sashimi, and the upstairs is where they do the cooking. So now the difficult part is choosing the seafood you actually want to eat. So level two, this is where a lot of the restaurants are. So again, you can buy your seafood from downstairs and bring it up, or you can just go into one of these places and start ordering. This one looks very frequented by celebrity. So we found a restaurant we liked. We're basically gonna try the one with all the celebrity endorsements. We'll see how it is. And the lady here she is taking us to, to her cellar, her vendor which is this vendor here, I guess. So this is another way to do it, is if you can go directly to the restaurant you like and ask them which corresponding fish sellers they're working with. Uh, where you can go to the fish sellers and ask them which corresponding restaurants they're working with. That snow crab looks good, that's good snow crab. So next, we wanted some fish. Um, so she's taking us to, to their fish place. So we got a big crab and a big fish. That should be good for breakfast. We're like one of the only ones in this restaurant, so we got a nice view. Look how amazing this is. <laughs> well, after you eat the legs, they take the body and all that great miso, the innards, and they're going to, in classic Korean style, fried rice the heck out of it. But first, the fish. Look at this flaky meat. Real to perfection. Ah. Ah, bro. All they did was a little salt on this, and that's it. That's all they did to make this perfect. This is a great fish. Not a lot of bones. The meat is so tender and clean. This is the best part. Lift the cheek up the fish. Fish cheek right here. That's the most tender part. This is the best part. And if you want a little change in texture, use some garlic. We'll grab some kimchi. And look at this, this thing is just like pure fish stink. No little bones to worry about. Just beautiful, delicate, flaky meat. Dip the fish in a little wasabi. Crunch on a little peppers. There's really no bad way to eat this. All right, let's see what we're gonna do with this bad boy. Woo! So sweet with a touch of brininess. You don't need to dip this anything. This straight from the ocean is perfect.
uh, choreo. It's basically you're combining eating with arts and craft. Not many things are sweeter than that. How sweet is that? So good. It makes me want to cry. It's so good. It's like eating breakfast and dessert at the same time. Yes. Oh my god. This is the best way to start your day. Like what you said, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So crap for breakfast. Good idea. Remember, a crappy breakfast is definitely not a crabby breakfast. coming up. Look at this nice claw. Sorry, because here, have this <laughs> as my token of appreciation. Not the crappy <laughs> leg that I broke up. <laughs> like, Really different, but oh, so good. Dumb, better tasting than your fingers. Crab innards fried rice with fresh crab meat on top. Usually I want to slap myself, but this was so good I wanted to hug myself and kind of comfort myself, kind of just be like, calm down. There's more, you can take another bite. On top of the sesame and nori, just exuberating such amazing fragrance, the innards, the, the tamale, the miso, the essence of the crab is the best. And that essence, it's just all over every single grain of rice. It's like, the flavor bomb of flavor bombs. Deep, 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 rich umami flavor. Something really only the innards of a crab can bring you. Well, you know what people always say, it's whatever's on the inside of that camp. With crabs, that's a billion percent true. <sighs> Chris, they gotta try this. There you go, I fixed you a, I fixed you a spoon. Try that. Mm, yeah. You just saw a real life testimonial of what happens after crab innards met fried rice. That was good. That was really good. On to the next market. Which one? The Mangwon market. It is, it's not really that known to international people like foreigner, uh -huh. but it's actually a pretty good market because there's like two markets connected to each other. I like that. It's like two for one deals. I love those. And they're really famous for like uh, their croquettes, their kalguksu and their chickens. Wow, there's so much food here. Pizza school? Oh, look at all the scallions and garlic. This is a great place for produce, for restaurants, cafes, or just some roadside snacks. There we go. The Mangwa Market. Wow, that looks good. Yeah. It's the pork tenderloin, it's like the pork cutlet, bacon cheddar cheese pork cutlet, pork cheese pork cutlet, the manbook manbook shop, yeah. and oh. then the cheese. And yeah. this got the ribbons. 
Okay, so this play is going to be good. Dominic Ansel, you should get yourself a dinosaur. For the katsu, I'm gonna have to probably eat this first. I first had this in New York, like over 10 years ago, I think that's when Dominic Ansel put this in his bakery. It tastes just as good here and um, only about $3. Really not a lot of places to eat right now, so just kind of got to grab a piece and go. This is the katsu with the cheese. Four, cuatro cheese. Four cheese. Four cheese. What did we get? Wasabi sauce? Yeah, wasabi sauce. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. That's mmm. This thing is like three extreme textures. Extremely crunchy, extremely tender. Extremely cheesy. How much was this? Three thousand. Oh my gosh! Like two bucks. It's the king katsu. Giant pork katsu. Mm. And this one's fresh out of the fryer. Mm. The outside is just so crispy. Yeah. And the crispy is like so soft. It's not like the hard crispy, but it's like super soft. Yeah. Crispy. Delicate shuttle crunch. The outside, you're not crunching through the outer shell with much effort. A little oily, but delicious. I like that cheese one better. Yeah, get the cheese one if you come here. Oh, I really like this market. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. This is this is not very touristy at all. Yeah, this is like more for locals. That's why I really like going to this one because it's like a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper than like other like yeah. tourist market. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's just boiling pig feet in there. That is a cauldron of deliciousness right here. This kind of reminds me of like a witch's cauldron. Did we just misunderstand witches like back in the day? Maybe they weren't practicing witchcraft. Maybe they were just all cooking pig's feet. Did we ever consider that? Oh, look at this. What are they doing here? They're roasting the sesame seeds. This is roasting sesame seeds? Yes. Wow. The smell is so good. That smells really good. It's really hard for me to walk past a spicy fish cake stand. Bite of that, take a sip of broth. Oh, that's so good. It's one of my favorite foods in South Korea. It's so cheap, it's like 50 cents. And all the broth you can drink. I like the broth more. <laughs> like, it's just a kind of excuse to put a really warm and delicious broth in my stomach. There's the cheese mustard, the fruits, fruit flavor, the sweet chicken, the hongjo, and then wow. the one, and then the kongkungji. Kampung is like the Chinese style. Sweet fruit chicken. Let's get fruit chicken fruit. and then kampung. Kampung chicken. Kampung, very spicy. Very spicy? Very spicy. That's good. Okay. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Fermented skate fish. Wow, okay. One bite. One bite. One bite. Whoa. That's very good. 
Wow, that's delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Over a perilla leaf and some kimchi. Wow, check out this guy. <laughs> I really like this market. This is like and now one of my favorite markets in South Korea. So cheap, like 17 pieces of this thing. Here it is like only three dollars. 17 of 17 oranges dollars. for 3,000 won? Yeah, so it's like two dollars for like 17 pieces of sangri. That's crazy. The one on top is the yeah, spicy the one, right? The spicy, a super spicy one. Ah, they're very nervous about giving me very spicy food in this country. That's really good. But I don't think it's that spicy. Though. This is really good. The rice cake, there's like a little caramelized outside layer. Oh, so good. The chicken is good too. Super light outer crunch of the skin and then just tender and juicy meat. Mm. Oh, fruit's good too. We love fried chicken. This is absolutely mind blowingly good. We got lucky as soon as we bought our stuff, the line started forming over there. So that's the end of this market. So this is the croquette, the tuna croquette. That's so soft. Oh yeah? So right? Good, right? Yeah. That's so soft. This is one of my favorite chairs. So because like this one is only like 600 won. So it's like 30 40 cents. cents. Yeah, 40 cents. They freshly make as well. Can you guys see that? How airy that is? I was expecting something kind of heavy, really oily. Mmm. And it's crunchy. So light, soft, and the tuna inside is amazing. Oh, this is delicious, delicious. Oh, look at that. This is the glutinous rice. This is so good, I want to slap myself with it. Why am I violent when I think something is good? I don't know. The only thing crunchy is like the outside shell a little bit and then the sugar. Mm. This is a dentist's worst nightmare. Yeah, come here and get some of this. And it's like 1,001 for three piece, so... So it's like uh, 20 least, cents. Yeah. Like 20 cents a piece. Come on, Dunkin' Donuts. This is like, so like 20 cents, you can get like one eighth of a donut at Dunkin' Donuts. Or you can get like a whole thing of this. Is my math right? I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've been inside of Dunkin' Donuts in years. But either way, this is definitely more worth it. I never knew about this market. I love things that are not at all designed for tourists. And these things like what you're eating here, the foods you're eating, the groceries, and the prices just reflect everything that is very, very, very catered to the local population. And those are the places I absolutely adore. Great seafood market in the morning and fun walking around here trying out the street food here thanks so much for showing us to me yeah. appreciate it as always guys thank you all so much for watching until we eat again Bye -bye. see you later